hello guys and welcome to the accounting buddy if you are new to the channel do feel welcomed and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content so now on this channel guys our focus is on financial accounting taxation auditing and everything to do with management account so now this is a build-up of the topics on the previous tutorials do click on the notification at the top of your screen if you've missed out on those lectures we're going to be dealing with activity based costing so typically let's for a typical example let's say you you have a call center company right through this call center you sell products to potential clients right and you've identified that one of your major activities is obviously calling clients so unlike the traditional system in activity based costing we try to classify each activity and its cost driver now what do you think would be the cost driver for this major activity which we've identified isolating the other ones like the labor hours and everything else just looking at this one the activity here is calling the client right and the cost driver would be the number of minutes that you're going to be spending on the call right so what drives the, the costs of making the calls is the number of minutes right just like the petrol in your car the kilometers the, the driving is the activity but the kilometers that you've traveled will be the cost driver in terms of the fuel that you will have to put in the car this is our comprehensive example i would advise that you have a pen and paper with you so that you write uh, these important details right so um nike ltd is an apparel manufacturing company specializing in makazi clothing items the company currently manufactures and sells very two very popular brands namely sugar jeans and matorokisi active tops right uh, so an automated cutting machine machines are used in the factory to cut the pieces in the year ended this is really important although it's not the year end guys everything in accounting okay in the year ended march 31 march 2020 nike sold 30,000 units of sugar jeans and 65 units of matarokisi active tops right so this is something that you need to note down so our sales and production report gave us the following this is still part of the information given in the question sales amounted to the highlighted amount and Mataruk EC also respectively to the highlighted amount most importantly there was no opening inventory and our closing inventory is 20,000 for sugar jeans and Mataruk EC as 15,000 units at closing inventory now this is very important because it's showing us the units that were not sold in the by the by the year end these are the units which were not sold right and we have our directly back cost per unit our direct material per unit uh, our question also gives us that there is no inventory of raw material or work in progress i held each unit that is produced is also packaged right and uh, the management accountant of the firm also calculated the fixed manufacturing overheads at 1.4 million now this is some very useful information please do jot it down guys as we build up to answering this now for additional information yeah uh, management of nike pty ltd would like to improve the costing accuracy of the products manufactured the management accountant can trace fixed manufacturing overhead costs to material purchasing machine setup and packaging and machine maintenance now guys when it comes to activity based costing the first there are two steps the first step is to identify the activity and the cost driver for that particular activity that is the first step the second step will be to allocate those costs to a particular product right so now the management accountant has already done the work for us these are the major activities material purchasing machine setup the packaging and the maintenance which at a cost of total cost of 1.4 million so for example here we have a material purchasing and the cost driver this is what pushes the activity right is the purchasing order the machine setup the cost driver is also machine setup the packaging 
the cost driver is the number of packaged products maintenance the number of runs so this is something that you need to have prepared if in case they didn't give it to you and it's just on the information you would have to have something like that right so now the actual data regarding the production of two products for the year and the 31 march sorry about that it's 2020 right sorry about this it's supposed to be 2020 are presented below now these are the number of orders per item for Mataru Kisi, it's 35 respectively for sugar it's 65 now you've got the information and these guys you should not forget these are our major activities right but now here we have a problem already the packaged items we do not know how many they are this is a problem that we need to solve if you go back to the given information we were told that there was uh, a sale of 30,000 units of Maturikisi and uh, 60, 65,000 units of uh, sugar active tops. Keep that one in mind. Right now, our question here says um, using activity based costing, calculate the actual manufacturing overheads to be allocated to Maturikisi and sugar for the year ended at 31 March. Now this is the first step to your solution guys. You first have to have an activity table where you are going to have your major activities. These are the major activities as given on the information. If you're not given to them, if they're not given to you in that plain sight, that means you have to look for them in the given information. But at least this time we're given them, we don't have to search for them. The material purchasing, machine setup, packaging and machine maintenance, right? And these are the respective costs as given on the information and the question right so now always keep in mind that in activity based costing our main goal is to find the cost rate per activity right so for number of orders we had a total of 100 orders right this is for both Mataru Kisi and sugar was a total of 100 when you divide the given amount 280,000 the cost driver is 2,800 cost driver rate right same with the machine setup we are given the number of setups here we just divide we divide with everything which is we divide the the activity with every relevant um, cost driver just to get the cost rate per unit now since we've already done that here we've got our cost rate but there's still a question here how did we get to the 130,000 because we did not receive any information on remember there were question marks if you refer back to the information now remember if you go on your calculator we were given 30,000 units that were manufactured for Maturu and 65 units that were manufactured for sugar respectively that will give us 95,000 units that were that were sold not manufactured that were sold but our closing inventory had 15,000 and 25,000 respectively so when we take the number of uh, items for both items that are being sold when we take the total number plus what was not sold at the end of the year which was the closing inventory at the end of the year if we add all those numbers together please do that on your worksheet it's going to give us 130,000 packaged products so 130,000 products were packaged during the year but not all of them were sold but be simply because we did not sell them does not mean it did not cost us right okay now this is how we're going to allocate our overhead to the products we're going to start off with Mataro Gise. This is how you allocate the cost. Remember the number of purchasing materials that were needed for Matoroki's we were given multiplied by the calculated rate that we just calculated on the previous uh, worksheet. Following up with the machine setup, they needed 100 and this is the cost driver that we calculated. Same with the same thing with packaging and maintenance. Remember guys, this on this side this is our activities our major activities and that means our total activity for maturu is 
Our first step was to first find the cost per activity for all those products as a collective. And now we allocate them. This is the second stage of allocating. This is how you go about allocating the cost to a product, right? Simple as that. We're going to be doing the same here for sugar jeans. Same thing. Just as we did before, we are allocating the same costs are being allocated, but they are going to vary in terms of what was required right so guys there you have it this is how you go about setting up an abc system which is going to work for you right it's not it's nothing complicated if there's something you don't understand guys please do leave a comment on the comment section right remember here we don't have 65,000 because 65,000 was not the only production for the year 65,000 what was what was sold but in total we had 65,000 sold by year end and also 25,000 which is the closing inventory so we have to add those costs just as we did when we were doing the cost driver rate so that's it so just to recap always start off the first step is to calculate the cost of the individual activities for all the products if you are having more than one product sometimes you might even have to calculate for three products it's still the same thing the principle here is what is most important right now guys i would like to thank you for watching this video i hope this video was informative if you've got any questions you need tutorial support please send me an email on my email address here you just highlight it there or you can alternatively follow me on accounting on accounting buddy that's on twitter and if you've not subscribed to the channel guys please subscribe on the next channel we're going to on the next video sorry we're going to be using the same given information to calculate uh, using the traditional costing system right uh, one of our future videos that i'm going to be putting this week is going to be on process costing so do hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when i do make that upload now nah.